Hi all of y'all, this is Gil, so for dad advice number 28, well it appears to me that we had a faucet that broke, this faucet it just broke, and then it started splashing water all over the place, so if I could give you one tip, you should um, tell your kids or, or yourself, or if you're a, a youngster, Looking at this video, I'm, I'll give you this a little advice to to know where to turn off the water. If you ever, if you ever have a situation like that, like, but let's say that the faucet breaks, that usually the valves is gonna be here somewhere. It's gonna be there. It's hard to see it. <clears throat> you turn it off right there, and then there's another one on the other side as well. But if, let's say, you have a sink, like, let's say, something, some other plumbing broke in the house, and, and you have no way of turning it off, all houses usually is going to have a place where you could turn off the water, like the main, the main line. Well, in this case, over here, you turn it off, well, some, some valves might have, like, a little clip that you need to move up. And then you could slide it slide it down and you could turn off the whole system. Yeah, that's how you could do that. Most houses, most every house is gonna have this somewhere. But I don't know, your house might be different than this one, but there's always gonna be a place where you could turn off the water, like the main water. In case that if you ever have to turn up every if you ever have a plumbing um, busted or something and, 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 and water it all over the place. You just turn it off at the main, main, um, like the main, um, system. So that, um, or right now, if your plumbing is not broken right now, like right now is a nice time to find the, to find that switch right now. Like when you don't need it. So that way, in case that you ever need to do that, you turn it off. That's where you could turn off the whole water. I mean, to prevent any more damage.